I did get you a coffee, but it's probably cold now. I'm so sorry. My phone died and I didn't have the charger in the car and then I ran over a squirrel, but I'm here now, late. Sorry. Do you have to leave? No, I'm not sure where. Good, I'll get us another. Well, maybe stay off the caffeine. You look stressed. Yeah, well, I am a bit. Fingers crossed we can get past the 10-minute conversation point. Hope so. Just to put this out there, but even if me and Jimmy end up fighting in the street, it won't affect me and you, right? I'm going nowhere. You always say the right thing. <laughs> well, let's hope Uncle Jimmy does too. So, what next? Golf? Didn't you used to play a lot? I don't really get the time now, what with kids and work. And anyway, golf's boring if you don't play yourself. We could talk about Anya. So, she's doing well, isn't she? Seems to be, yeah. We video every so often. We say hello, she disses mum, so do I, and then we feel guilty. <laughs> I dread to think what my kids say about me behind my back. So, she's working in a hotel now? Yeah, five star, very her. She loves it. I'll ask her to ping some photos over. That'd be great. Um, why don't I get Laurel to take a photo of us and we can send them to her if that's OK? Yeah, cool. Laurel, do you mind taking a photo? Why would I mind? <laughs> OK. Right. Smile. There we go. Half we go. I've done two. <laughs> Half decent of me for a change. You look the spit of your dad. <laughs> you always had the looks in our family. I just knew you'd take after him. Why are you both being weird? Sorry, Laurel's trying to help. Nicola gave me a list of things not to talk about. Oh. One of them being my dad, right? I try not to talk about him, but it's hard, and I know it's harder for you. It is hard to talk about him. Because I hate him. I know how you feel, Tom. I hated him for a long time, too. But talking about it will help you realise... I can't even think about him, never mind say his name. He did horrific things. I can't condone what he did, but we all make mistakes. What? And... Rape's not a mistake, and if you think that, you need your head testing. I didn't mean... He wrecked mine and Anya's childhood. He ruined Mum's life. Who knows what else he did? I wouldn't be surprised if Grandad dying was his fault. We need to calm down. I don't want to talk about this. Why not? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, you do. He did it. And you've known all along. My dad killed Grandad. Tom, stop. We need to talk about this properly. I can't! 